Hey, 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 it's your girl Tiffany Satchel, the 1111 coach. And if you don't know who I am, I am a wealth coach and I teach unemployable people like me how to use EFT to create a more abundant and fulfilling life. And if you want to get in touch with me, you can go to tappingwithtiffany.com. That's T A P P I N G with W I T H Tiffany. T-I-F-F-A-N-Y dot com. Okay, so now this month, my clients and I are focused on aligning with our divine truth. Because when you want to create more wealth in your life, the first thing that you that you definitely want to do is you want to go directly to the source. And, you, and in order for you to line up with the divine source, with the creator of creation, with God or whatever that you want to call it, I call him, I call... I call my source, I call my God, the creator of creation. Um, if you want to align with the divine, then you have to come in spirit and in truth. So this month we are lining up with divine truth. So as um, I was preparing the EFT for the EFT courses, the, co the EFT course for this month um, for my clients, I sat down and I did, and I, you know, I ha have to do it myself. So the first thing, the first emotion that actually came up for me, the first negative emotion that I noticed that was extremely, you know, it was like loud as I don't know what, was the feeling of guilt. And I actually talked about this on my live that I did a couple days ago on my fan page. So if you're not following me on Facebook, um, I put different content up on, on my Facebook fan page. Then you want to go to facebook.com forward slash Tiffany Satchel. Okay. And then you can see that content if you want to hear about that story. And basically what came up for me when I paid attention to that, I was like feeling emotions of guilt. So once I paid attention to that emotion, I, I was able to tap into the memories that were attached to it. And the and the, the memory that came up to me was it was actually a, a, a two, and I talked about it in the um in my vid and my live vid like I said, um and it was about um how I taught my son to lie, and I didn't realize it back then until well I didn't realize what I had done back then until I did this EFT and I really, you know, I was like, you know, I really want to, you know, I really want to help my clients. And I was like, what is the biggest thing? You know, what is it about me that attracted my clients to me that I could help them with to align with divine truth and guilt came up. And it was about me dropping the guilt of not being the perfect mother. You know, and this is something that my son and I, that we, we talk about all the time, you know, and he's so compassionate towards me and he's so forgiving. And he's just like, you know, he's able to look at the mistakes that he made and he, he knows, you know, like, look, I did wrong. He like, so nobody's perfect. You know, he wants to be forgiven. So my son is always willing to forgive. I love that about him. I'm like, I had like, I have, I have like the perfect son. He might not be as well behaved as some other sons are, but I totally accept him. And he figured out his gift right away, which is something else that I do with my clients. I help my clients to um, uh, teach them EFT so that they can actually uh, um, um, align with their gifts and actually figure out what their talents are. So um, my son was able to do that really early in life. Like he figured out at the age of 12, like, you know, what his niche was, you know, and I, I love that. It took me a few years, but a, a, a lot of years, but he figured it out by the time he was 12, you know, he already knew what he wanted to do. So what I'm teaching my clients is how to actually pick up on that in that in that inner conversation around the guilt right what are you feeling guilty for now a lot of times right a lot of times we're not even able to face those feelings because the truth is the reason why we're still carrying that baggage because uh, there's some aspects of us that, that that just aren't mature enough to process those emotions so then what do you do when you know that you know that you can't even handle the truth. You can't face the truth. There is technology out there that can help you to, to bypass the process. And when I say bypass the process, I don't mean that, I don't mean that you get to ignore it. Because anything that you ignore in your life that needs to be changed is just going to get louder and louder and louder. And it's just going to cause even more nuisances in your life until you change them. However, if you had access to technology or technique, that can help you to actually ease the process, but you receive the spiritual antidote that you need so that you can succeed in shifting your miscreation into a miracle.
okay? There's technology out there. Um, I know of at least three. One of them is the Course of Miracles, and that's something that you can work with on your own, and you can find tons of groups to work with that. I'm in a group right now. We work with the um, we work um, with the um, with the Course of Miracles daily, and um, it's an Enlightenment Circle. If you if you're into if you're interested in learning about the Course in Miracles, and um, then you then contact me, okay? You're gonna go to Tiffany Satchel at gmail.com, send me an email, or you can go to my website, tappingwithtiffany.com, and just schedule a session with me, and um, I'll explain to you what we, you know, what the Enlightenment group is about, because you do have to be initiated into the group, and because we do have to make sure that you fit, all right? So, so there will be an, an interview. And second, your second option is um, called the best technique. And I'm not going to go into that technique, but what I'm going to say that it is extremely effective, however, it does cost, okay? So um, you totally have to be willing to invest in yourself. It's not expensive when you compare it to all of the other money. All right. Unforgiveness, all of these low, all of the low emotions are attached to your money. All right. I'm a wealth coach. So all these low emotions, all these these, these low vibrating uh, feelings that we have actually attack your money. So if you so if you invest in yourself, if you take your money and you invest in a technique like this, then you will see rapid results. You'll see rapid results. I'm not saying that everything is going to be perfect. What I'm saying is that you will be infused with the spiritual antidote that is necessary so that you can experience the success of being at peace with that emotion, okay? And that will carry all carry over into other areas of your life, especially your relationship with money, okay? So um that's one that's one technique and I could refer you to her and I'm tell you right now it did she will clear your slate. All right, and that's what you want to do. And this is something that we that we that we talk about um that excuse me that I talk about with my clients, you know, about actually, you know, um about actually clearing a record. So now here's the third way that I want to teach you and a third way, and this is what I want to, I'm going to come on daily to, um, you know, to just, you know, just, just give you some, to just, to just help you out with some of these low vibrating emotions. Okay. That we're dealing with. All right. So one of, so the first one I want to talk about is guilt. Like I said, when I, when I decided that I was going to get into alignment with truth, the, the, um, guilt came up. So I use a, uh, a technology called 72, the 72 names of God. Okay. And I, I go more, I go more into it, um, with my clients, but basically what it is, is just, it's imagery. Okay. And by looking at the symbol, this symbol contains the spiritual antidote for whatever it is that they have. Well, it's different symbols for, the, for whatever spiritual condition that you need um, support in. Okay. And so what you would do is you would just look at the symbol. You're going to scan it from right to left. Okay. But first you want to think about what it is that you're feeling guilty about. Okay. And you want to do three things. You want to repent. You want to repent. Um, Wait, I have it up here. I forgot. Um, I have so many things in my head. I know it's, oh, repent. It's repent, awareness, and forgive, okay? You want to do, you want to repent, you want to reflect, and you want to forgive. So you're going to, so you're going to confess your sins to yourself if you can. Um, then you want to go to the other person as well, all right? So you're going to repent. Um, that, that That's your confession, all right? Um, and like I said, only do it if you can, you know? Um, you want to reflect. To bring on your awareness of how you caused this situation or this condition. And then you also want to forgive yourself, okay? So this is the symbol, all right? This is the symbol right here, all right? So you think about what you're guilty about and reflect on this symbol and make sure that you sit for 15 minutes in quiet, med in quiet meditation and journal everything that comes up for you, all right? And connect with me and let me know what you experience. I would love to hear from you, all right? I love you with that agape kind of love, and I will see you soon. Peace.